about this a little bit last week and uh, one or two of you have uh, got a few ideas already. Um, if you've not that's absolutely fine. <laughs> so I'm, I'm, not, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to demonstrate as such but maybe I'll just sort of talk through a few ideas and talk through the resources we've got. So there's, di there's different ways we could, we could tackle this. Have, have any of you got ideas what you'd like to do? Yeah so yeah, yeah. Anybody? You've printed off how the Van yeah, Gogh. Yeah, so you fancy doing a copy of the, was it a copy of the Van, Van Gogh, wasn't it? Uh, oh, no. It's the yeah. scale. Uh, it's yeah. the scale. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So that would be, <laughs> that would be one idea. And um, would be to sort of like do a, a copy of a, of a, you know, one of the modern masters, old masters. Any other ideas? <laughs> I mean, I was, I was kind of thinking that I'd like to have to do the kind of thing turn into the room, all that kind of atmosphere, yeah. rather than anything specific, just not necessarily doing looking, but yeah. that atmospheric kind of feel that he's doing a lot of his uh, seascapes and yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, yeah so it's kind of more inspired by and using yes. style really. So yeah. that, again, that's another really good idea is yeah. you know, look at an artist's style and see how you can come up with that kind of idea. So um, that would be you know, another really good idea. Um, I mean, you, you could do like an investigation into, if you had a particular artist you're interested in, you, you could sort of investigate techniques to start with and then that could be a little bit of a project and then build that into maybe a painting for the second part of the project. Um, yeah, so that, that would be all good stuff. Um, I'll, I'll show you some of the resources that I've brought along. I mean, when, when I was at art school like 30 odd years ago, it was something that we did, I, I must have done quite a bit, because I found a few old sketchbooks and I, I, I please mark some of these. So there's, there's quite a few bits where I think that was a Cezanne painting I was sketching. And it's very much, that would have been a Picasso, um, not sure what that was, that's another Suzanne thing. Um, it's very much the way we were, we were sort of encouraged to look at other art rather than just go and take photos and work on photos. Um, we were encouraged to look at artists and to learn from them. So there's an awful lot that we can learn. Um, techniques, you can learn things like um, <coughs> how artists compose paintings, so you know, analysing a painting. Um, one of the projects that I, I, I did in my first year of yeah, I think it was quite a lot of the sketches. So, basically, this this is a painting that's in the National Gallery by uh, Tintoretto. So it's a really big painting. It's probably you know half the size of this wall. And one of the idea was that we would sort of have a look at this and just try and work out the, the sort of space that was created and just just kind of really analyse the painting really. So this sketchbook, I've got lots of um, sketches that I did of. Things like the whole composition that would have been, and then there's bits of individual figures and that, that sort of thing. So I, I kind of went into it a big way, and we ended up making like a, almost like a model of the painting in 3D with has to see figures and things like that. <laughs> just to sort of, you know, it's just a way of sort of analyzing. So it's quite a, kind of, quite a fun project. It was, you know, a few weeks' work. Um, but that's that sketchbook. Uh, the resources I've got, I've got these, these books are. Mostly about, I think this is the same, a bigger version of that book, and we've got different things on <laughs> techniques in here. So if you want to look at any of these, this is sort of impressionistic techniques, sort of the colours that are used, things like that. <coughs> so there's, it analyses lots of different different paintings and artworks. 
So there's a couple of those books there. Um, these, um, in these three folders here, I've got, I've got collections of images. Some of these, they're all sorts of things. So, you know, sort of modern art images, um, sort of kind of old masters type images. So, a lot of these I've got, I've got given a set of um, receptors, and there's a bit of it on some of them, not all of them, there's information on the particular painting on the back. So, one of my students who've been an art teacher gave me these years ago, so they're quite a useful resource. Um, modern masters, old masters, there's also quite a lot art from different cultures, so if you wanted to look at different things there. Um, so there's, there's various ones of these, so you're welcome to follow these, and if you have those back when you're finished, but you're welcome to use those. Um, I brought a couple of books in, I brought, I brought this Picasso book in, because um, Picasso was an artist who quite often got inspired by the old masters. So this was um, a painting that um, Manet had painted, and he then did his version in Picasso style. So, I mean, I thought that might be something, an interesting thing to do, sort of like maybe pick a painting and interpret it in a different style. So that, that's another idea. Mind blowing. Sorry? Mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, it would be, wouldn't yeah. it? You know, that was a, a really thing. That's the, um, yeah, that's the original Manet painting that he did that one from. So sort of a few ideas, you know, I don't want to make it too sort of, complicated or intimidating, but just to put a few ideas out there, really. Um, let's say sketching from, I mean, one thing about drawing from other people's work is that it just kind of, just like if you're drawing anything, it just gets you to really have a good look <coughs> and look at how things were <laughs> created. Um, I just brought this one out of the folders at random. Um, this is uh, by an artist, sort of French artist called Charter. And it just made me really aware of how, how the whole thing is composed. Um, we've really got a, a really strong sense of focus here. These sort of three objects here, and they play, you know, like a big part of it, they're all round objects. And then you've always got this sort of contrast with this box in the background, which is quite, quite subtly painted, isn't it? It's, it's quite sort of dark, and you can just about see it. We've got a long pipe here, which really kind of like leads your eye into the, into the the sort of focal area. And I noticed he's also got, got other little arrangements of still lights here and here that are almost like, you know, they're, they're like the, the main, you know, they're, they're like the, the big focus, and then you've got almost like secondary focus areas here and here that, you know, they're playing part, but they're not quite so dominant. So I thought this is quite an interesting one. I suppose the other thing is you've got like quite a strong horizontal here and quite a strong vertical and that almost and that one dynamical you know really stands out because you've got strong horizontal and vertical so i thought that's quite i mean shondan's a really interesting artist in that they're almost quite pared down paintings um you know you look at some some sort of the old masters still lives and they're just so so busy and so you know everything everywhere and everything packed in but they're almost sort of quite pared down quite sort of simple but you know, got stunning design to them really. So I just thought here, that that just came out of random, but I just thought it'd be a good one to, to mention. So you know, if I was going to do a drawing of like that, you know, and, and probably because I have done lots of drawings of old masters and things like that, just kind of quick sketches from your sketchbook. Um, you just really, you, you just really sort of home in, and you, you just become acquainted with these almost like design ideas, design devices that artists use. Whereas if I just did, you know pick somebody else's photo at random and just copy it. I've never really, really learned that. So that's, you know, and those sort of things, you know, influence, you know, painters, you know, the, the modern painters, probably influence photographers. You know, it's all, the, all these kind of formal design ideas. So that's something, you know, you can play about. <coughs> um, so, yeah, I mean, you could, you could, you know, I could sort of go about sketching that. It doesn't have to be any work now. I won't, I won't sort of go into writing anything to sketch because it's not really the you know the, you know, there wouldn't be much benefit in that. But I think um, yeah, it, hopefully, you know, just by doing maybe do it could be a way of starting projects, perhaps just pick a few images you like that up and do a bit of sketching and that might help you decide what you like and why really. Then, then another idea is to do something that is 
you know, radically different to anything you might have done. Like I've never really done anything like that. So that's a, um, I think that's kind of good or something like that. Um, you know, just sort of like something that's really out of your comfort zone. And that might be interesting. Maybe just sort of do a copy of a small area and just see if you get anything out of that. So I just want to kind of give you lots of ideas today and then just see where you, you go with it rather than, you know, make it too prescriptive. Does that sound all right? Anybody got any questions? Yeah. <coughs> no? Right, okay. Yep, go for it. Yep.